Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're in a shop. We'll be headed out to work on the truck shortly. So today's video is gonna be kind of a maintenance video as well as some updates to the truck, the shop, and just kind of let you know what else, what else is going on. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is modifying a older Milwaukee tool that we've had for a really long time. And that is this Milwaukee M12 tire inflator. It works okay, but when I had my 2500, you know, that thing trying to get wheels up to 80 PSI, you know, it was kind of slow. Uh, with the ZR2 tires, I only keep them at 38 PSI, so because that's what's the recommended PSI on it. You know, it works fine because it's a smaller capacity. Now, if you had a big diesel like I used to have, I would recommend go ahead upgrading, get the M18. And uh, so the parts that I found are actually meant for the M18, but I think they'll work on our M12. And so that update is gonna be from a company called Lock and Flight. There's two pieces we're gonna do. So the first part is gonna be a adapter fitting. The second is gonna be the lock inflate tool. It's basically like a quick connect for your grease fittings. It's something that it clips on and won't fall off. That's the same idea here for the air fitting is that this jaw opens up and it's gonna clamp onto your tire pressure sensor. So uh, what sucks about the Milwaukee kit is that you have to actually screw this in like this and you're gonna lose a couple pounds of air. Maybe not a couple, but you will lose some air loosening it up. So this install is gonna be super easy. I already screwed in the quarter inch adapter to the Milwaukee tool. Then we're gonna go ahead and screw this onto the quarter inch adapter. And basically we're just gonna put a little bit of thread tape on here. It doesn't say it's needed, but might as well just go ahead and put a little bit on just so that we don't have any air leak. All right guys, we got the lock and inflate installed. We got the quarter inch adapter fitting installed. So let's go ahead and try this out over on the Silverado. Turn this on. Crank it up to 38. All right, let's turn this on. All right, guys, while that tire inflates, here's another issue. We've got the service tire pressure. You saw this in a previous video, so I'm gonna try to go ahead and program this rear tire I've had this programmer here for a real long time, but it does work. So let's go ahead and try to get this programmed. So to reprogram this, we basically just hold down the right trigger. I think we hold that to reset it. That'll, re that'll put it in the program. Here you go. All right, so basically we're gonna go to driver's side front, passenger side front, passenger rear, driver's rear. So let's go ahead, get this programmed. So yeah, as you guys just saw, that rear driver's tire will not program. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I had them, they've all been replaced at some point. Uh, and honestly guys, I'm not going back to discount tire. They scuffed up three of the wheels on this truck and I really don't wanna deal with that again. So, and unfortunately this isn't the first time I've taken the truck into the dealership to get these replaced. I replaced two of them. I don't remember if it was the passenger side or the driver's side. So I'm just gonna go look up my paperwork, figure that out, and we'll go from there. All right guys, the last maintenance item is gonna be this light right here. Keeps falling down. Uh, the 3 amp tape on the back here just isn't holding up. So there are some small holes in it. We're gonna just drill some holes and use some zip ties to attach this to that pedestal that I showed you in the previous video. So if you guys can see that mount right there, that's what we're gonna mount this to with Probably just two really small zip ties. All right guys, I did get the footwell light installed. We still have that double-sided tape, but also has two zip ties on both sides of it. So just drilled a hole through the small plastic bracket that's coming down, put a zip tie through it, tighten it down. That ain't going nowhere. All right guys, that's gonna be it for the maintenance on the truck. You know, like I said, pretty simple stuff. The tire inflator, that lock inflate thing, that actually worked pretty well. I think I will keep that on this M12. And also, I'm still glad to see that the 
tire pressure programmer that I bought years ago still works. You know, I actually bought that specifically for the SS behind me. It happened to work on the Corvette and still glad to see it works on a 2022 and newer. So, um, you know, really glad to have all those tools. I want to say the lock and inflate, I think that was 20 bucks. I think the adapter was five bucks. So it was under 30 bucks and it's actually a really good father-in-law gift. Hint, hint. <laughs> And also the tire programmer I bought that years ago, I think that was like $10. So not a bigger deal there. And it prevents you from having to go to a place that likes to scratch your wheels. I already mentioned their shop name in the video. We won't say them again, but it is what it is. So, and as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to give you guys kind of an update on everything going on around here. So the Corvette, uh, the hood's up, not for any particular reason. We'll be working on that shortly. Actually, that might be next. Uh, I've got a project coming in here. I don't really think I'm going to film it, helping a buddy out. Um, we've got that coming up this weekend. Then I think we'll be back on the Corvette. I want to try to get that done before Christmas or after Christmas. It's one of those things, the project I want to do, it's going to take a couple days, but I also don't want the car stuck on the left when we have guests over because we're going to have a bunch of people over here for Christmas. So uh, that's coming up on the Corvette. It might have already been Christmas by the time you guys see this video, so I apologize ahead of time. We're filming a couple weeks ahead. Uh, the SS behind me, Really just kind of sitting here. Uh, no real updates from that. I've got a paint project on it that's going, that's happening right now. That paint project's been going on since August. Um, nothing major, just uh, my me being lazy, not going, bugging my painter to get my stuff done. That's kind of what that is. Um, we've had other projects to worry about, specifically the Corvette, getting that ready for the dyno and all that stuff. Now we actually do have a long-term build for the truck coming up. I don't know when we're going to be getting to that, but uh, you know it's going to be at least several weeks long. It's going to require custom tuning, so that's going to be coming up in the future at some point. I'm still gathering parts on that. I'm still gathering parts on the Corvette too, so it's kind of like, all right, which project do we do first? I don't know yet, but we'll get to it eventually. Plus, there's like another year on the warranty, and I don't want to be messing that up as soon as possible. I know with the SS, I think I had the SS for two or three years before we altered that in a major way. All I'm gonna say is, what do all my cars have in common? They all have big brakes, they all have different tires, and they all have something else. Well, that something else is what's gonna be happening to the truck as well. Now, I'm not gonna reveal what it is, but if you guys wanna take a guess, drop that down in the comments. So yeah, we've got a big project coming up on the ZR2. I don't know when we'll be getting to that, but uh, yeah, this spring there are gonna be some changes around the shop. I think some things might go, some things might stay, but we'll let you know when that happens. But uh, you know, for 2024, I think my big goal, I want to get up to either Indiana or Pocono. Uh, Pocono is, I think it's a third of a mile race. It's more than a quarter, but it's less than a half. Um, so I want to, they basically go down the back straight of Pocono NASCAR track and do, uh, you know, roll racing. So I want to get up there for that, or I want to do the half mile in Indiana. I'm just not sure. Uh, unfortunately, those are the two closest events. There is the Texas, it's either the Texas Mile or Texas Half Mile. I think there's actually two separate organizations in Texas that run events. But honestly, guys, to get from here to Dallas, it's almost a 20, 24 hour drive, something like that. It's not worth it in my case. I think Pocono was like nine hours and I think Indiana was 11-ish. So it's like half the distance, but it just doesn't seem like that because you know, you're going from uh, you know, North Carolina north, and I guess that's closer than going North Carolina all the way to Texas. So I've driven to Texas before in the Corvette. Never want to do that again because it was awful. And uh, yeah, so that'll never happen. But yeah, so goals for 2024 will be to get the Corvette out to some kind of roll racing event. I don't want to do it in the middle of summer. So if I can do it in one of their first events, maybe April or May, that's kind of be the, going to be the game plan is uh, get the Corvette ready for that. Um, speaking of the Corvette, you guys know that it made 800 wheel just a couple weeks ago. I need to get injectors. I've got some exhaust stuff we need to put on and we're going to be actually working on the cooling as well. Uh, not the radiator, but the supercharger cooling. Picked up some stuff there. That'll be kind of the next project that we're going to do on that. And uh, yeah, so it's just one of those things. It's like, okay, injectors, exhaust stuff, coolant, and then I think we'll be ready. Now, none of that stuff should take too terribly long. The exhaust stuff will take a little bit of time because I have to customize it. We'll reveal that in a future video, but 
So yeah, we've got some projects to do on the Corvette coming up. And now that I'm thinking about it, there will be at least one more truck video that we're going to do that'll be after this. Probably be in between all the Corvette stuff. It's just how this stuff's going to work out. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see all those updates, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And if you guys want to help support the channel, check out all the links down below. I will actually have links to the tire programmer as well as those lock and inflate tools. I did get that all on Amazon. Uh, check that out. And also make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Any support that you guys can give there, whether it's a sticker, a hat, you know, a t-shirt, whatever. Anything you guys pick up there goes right back into the channel, the Corvette, the SS, the truck, and all that. And so, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.